Hey guys, what's up? My name's Danny, aka Thriftfish, and I'm an online fashion reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, and today is another What Sold Fast on Poshmark video. So this will be What Sold Fast in April 2020 on the Poshmark app. This does not cover eBay or Mercari sales. I focus on this. I just download my sales report and punch in an equation and I'm able to find out how many days an item was on the platform before it sold. So I do that every month and today we're going to be going over 15 items that sold within one day of listing on Poshmark. And another thing I do in these videos typically is actually also tell you what sold slowly. So I'm going to go over five items in my closet that sold the slowest in April. So fun fun disclaimer uh, sales are definitely down my average sale price is also slightly down um, due to COVID-19 or due to not being able to go out for the regular amount of inventory so not being able to list as much people's incomes are not what they should be so the crisis has definitely brought my sales numbers down a little bit, but I'm still selling things fairly fast. I had over 15 items that sold within a day of listing, so I'm still happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through one by one. We'll start with the items that sold within one day of listing on the app, and we'll end with the items that sold the same day as they were listed. Some of these items are actually relists, so they didn't actually sell the first time they were listed uh, on the platform for that many days but when I relisted the item they sold either the same day or the next day so I'll let you know what those items are and this may skew the data a little bit but it also shows how effective relisting can be for items that have been sitting in your closet for a little bit if you just refresh the listing with relisting they will show up in the just in category when people are searching on Poshmark which can boost views and get new likes and new interested buyers so I try to relist as much as I can I've been relisting five things a day especially since I'm not able to list as many new items so relisting is a big part of my business plan when it comes to Poshmark so let's go ahead and get started I've done a lot of talking so the first item that sold within one day of listing on the app, and this was actually straight up, I listed it and it sold the next day, uh, or within 24 hours, was a Zara Basic Button Front Sleeveless Crop Jumpsuit. I sourced this on Poshmark and it sold on Poshmark. It sold for $28 and gave me an earnings of $20.28. I will be telling you my earnings, um, but I will not be telling you my cost of goods, uh, just because that can differ so widely from business to business. The next item that sold within one day of listing on the app was a relisted item and it sold in a bundle. It was a Melrose and Market sweater. It was something I found at the bins. It was just a cute soft sweater, uh, so I didn't mind that it sold in a fairly inexpensive bundle and earned me $5.73. The next item that sold within one day of listing, and this again was uh, something that I listed and it actually did sell the next day, was an And Other Stories Prairie Midi Dress. This was gorgeous. This is another thing that I sourced off of Poshmark and it flipped on Poshmark. It sold for $35 and gave me $25.88. The next item that sold within a day of listing on Poshmark was a pair of A Gold Sophie Crop Release Hem Skinny Jeans. I really like selling a gold this was even a little older uh tag of a gold but i believe that the style is still fairly uh current so these sold for 40 dollars and gave me an earnings of 32 dollars. so that for me was a good sale next these sold within 24 hours of listing on poshmark was a pair of madewell the Dakota Black Knot Slide Sandals, and actually these were a relist. I'd had these in my closet longer, but I relisted them, and that helped them sell for $20 with an earnings of $16. I do believe this was an offer. I sold them for a little less than I wanted, but that is okay. And the last item that sold within one day of listing on Poshmark was a Helmet Lang V-neck cotton cashmere cuff sweater. This thing was so pretty. 
I think it was one of the last things I picked up at the Good, no, not Goodwill, the Fred Up outlet before uh, I stopped sourcing in person. It sold, again, this one sold for $40 and gave me an earnings of $32. I was happy with that sale. All right, now we're on to the things that sold within the same day of listing on Poshmark. So the first thing was a Callahan Angora Blend V-Back sweater jumpsuit. And I actually had purchased this for myself. It didn't fit quite right, so I ended up selling it on Poshmark. And it sold the same day for $35. And I earned $28 from that. The next item was also another personal pick. These were out of my personal closet. It was a pair of Gymshark Vital Seamless High Rise Leggings. I really liked these, but they kept riding down on me and I really liked the rise on them, but they would never stay up. So I did sell them and they sold the same day for $20. I earned 16. Next was another thing for my personal closet was a pair of Allbirds Wool Runners. They were like a light pastel pink um, or purple. I sold them quickly within the same day for $25, giving me an earnings of $20. Next was actually a bundle of items that I put together. Since I have been partly sourcing locally uh, through the Nextdoor app, uh, some of the items I've been getting have been maybe lower end items but are still trendy pieces that people would like, so I put them uh, similar size items in a bundle together and sold them at what I thought was a fair price. So I actually sold a Torrid five piece plus size bundle for $20 and earned $13.88. Next item that sold the same day, and this is actually a relist, so they sold the same day that they were relisted on Poshmark, was a pair of Rag and Bone Kent black leather lace up sneakers. They sold uh, in a bundle, so it says here that I earned $15.93 from those sneakers. The next item was a fossil leather crossbody, just a little like envelope wallet bag. I found it at the bins. It sold for $14 and gave me $11.05. Um, I was kind of just looking uh, to sell that. It was fairly inexpensive and that offer came in the same day I relisted it, so I did accept. Down to the third to last item, which was a pair of Madewell Alicia leather ankle boots and these were a relist and they sold for $30 and gave me an earnings of $21.88. Second to last item that sold the same day of listing, and this was a fresh listing, was a Free People Intimately Garden Party maxi dress. This thing was gorgeous. I did source it off Poshmark. It sold for $30, and I earned $24. And actually, the last item was another bundle of items. It was an American Eagle six-piece tops and jeans bundle, and that, again, sold for $20 and gave me an earnings of $16. So for running free inventory, I really don't mind s selling these boxes and just profiting from them. So that was it for thing 15 things that sold within one day of listing on Poshmark. And now let's go ahead and transition over to five items that took a little longer to sell in my closet. Now keep in mind, since I do commonly relist, these things are probably actually in my closet for a lot longer than what Poshmark is even telling me. But let's go ahead and look over that. So the first item, which Poshmark says was listed in my closet for 65 days, and I actually think this is fairly accurate, was a Zara chambray dress. Uh, really cute. Uh, it sold for $12 and gave me an earnings of $9.05. was just a basic Zara, little cute chambray dress. I felt it would be good for bundling. It did sell on its own, but I'm actually not too upset with this sale because I did get this dress at a low cost. Yeah, and I don't feel too bad about it having sat for three months. Two months. 65 days is a little over two months. I can do math. Anyway, next item was a Nanette Lepore gingham bell sleeve top. This was really cute. Uh, it was new with tags and Poshmark says it was in my closet for 69 days. I do think I relisted it a couple times so it wasn't there longer but it sold in a bundle uh, actually with the next item on my sold slowly list which was a 
Reese Kalen Floral V-neck Fit and Flare dress. Unfortunately, this just didn't have traction in my closet. I think I need to pick up trendier Reese pieces if I pick it up in the future. But they both sold in a bundle together. The Nanette Laporte top apparently gave me earnings of $7.24. And the dress gave me an earnings of $12.07. That was not a great sale on my part. Moving on. The second to last slowest selling item in April 2020 was an Anthropology Field and Flower Preppy, Pe Preppy Pleats Pullover Sweater. I kind of regretted this purchase. It just wasn't very stylish or on trend. It sold for $15, which gave me an earnings of $12. I don't think I spent a whole lot on it. Uh, and that's kind of okay for older, less stylish anthro pieces. That's kind of the going rate. Poshmark says it was in my closet for 114 days and that might actually be accurate. The last item that was in my closet for 116 days and it might have been longer than that, was from my personal closet, was a pair of J. Crew drawstring pants. These were just a basic pair of J. Crew pants. I wasn't expecting to get a lot, but I was done with them, so I sold them for $8, giving me an earnings of $5.05. <laughs> so that is it for today. Uh, those were 15 things that sold fast and five items that sold really slow in my closet in April of 2020. Let me know what your fastest selling items were this month. If you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. If you like this content and want to see more from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again real soon.